Uh huh. Let's go shopping. I mean, it's a start. I've got some spinach leaves, some mushrooms, some courgette or zucchini, some delicious looking carrots. I mean, I'm sorry, but market carrots always look so beautiful and juicy and yummy, so, and fresh. So, I went and bought the fresh stuff. <laughs> it's really humid today. I also bought some quinoa. And then I bought some gluten-free oat and chocolate cookies. I know I'm supposed to be careful with sugar, but this is my weekend treat. So, yeah. And these are really, really good. And, I mean, gluten-free. It's already an effort. So, I know I'm still being frugal. I bought all of all the fruit and veg and the cookies and a few like dried things like the quinoa I bought some oats and some dried raisins for the porridge uh, and all of it was under 20 euros so I'm still being frugal but come on it was the market I will go to like the actual supermarket well tomorrow's Sunday oh you see I already also bought some bananas some lemons and some sweet potatoes so it's not like I bought nothing okay I'm trying not to be overly frugal and I will go to the supermarket but tomorrow is Sunday so maybe not tomorrow but I'm trying my best <laughs> I still need to figure out some recipes to like be gluten free and not eat the same thing every day and as you can see I didn't buy any eggs I usually buy a ton of eggs which I don't know how I'm gonna do for protein but I'll figure it out Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing something stupid. But I've already done th things like these in the past before, so... The only stupid thing now is that I'm filming myself doing it. But this is me vlogging. This is me on a Sunday, uh, makeupless with very bad skin. Uh, if you've seen my uh, health update video, you will know why, because of medication and bad well new diets and bad diets and shiz like that so last time i cut my hair was i think last december in 2019 and um even though hairdressers are open again why is this lopsided this is weird there we go lopsided oh i really need a new tripod this one is shit um so yeah last time i cut my hair was in december and even though i can go to the hairdressers um i'm focusing on buying healthy foods and stuff like that and i just basically just need to take care of these ends so i'm gonna try and be doing this now it's not a how-to video it's not a whoa i effed up my hair video it's just me trimming my ends. It's not going to be very fun to watch. I'm already starting with the biggest no-no. Uh, which, well, not the biggest no-no. I'm starting with a no-no. <clears throat> which is cutting my hair unwashed, basically. Tomorrow is hair washing day, so my hair is really greasy. Greasy, oily, I think you say it in different ways um so i don't really know if what if that really changes anything <sighs> honestly when my hair is freshly washed it's all frizzy anyway so whatever don't wash this brad mondo it won't make for good content at all so yeah, I'm not gonna be like telling you what I'm doing. I'm probably gonna fast forward through this anyway. Look at these roots. They're so bad. Anyway. Um, oh, here's my silent alarm. I've already taken my meds. This is my med life. I'm having alarms on my, uh, on my Fitbit, which is new by the way.
this is definitely one of the worst times I think but I'll survive like I said I've, I've it's been worse it's definitely been worse this one is not as bad actually it's a little bad but not as bad I mean a hairdresser would cry but I'm just like this hair this hair especially this side where you can like you can't, you can't see it obviously because I'm not showing you but you can totally see that it's so uneven Ooh, baby this is Ooh, rough but okay okay look at it look at it oh my god look how choppy this is Ooh. oh it's a good thing I don't wear my hair down that much oh my goodness Oh my god. If that's not a pandemic haircut, I don't know what is. Oh my god. That is rough. I cannot fix that. I cannot fix that. Stop cutting for goodness sake. Well, for now, this is my hair. Might play around with it a little more before I put everything away and get all the hair off of me. But I'll show you again once I've washed it and see how bad the damage is. <laughs> Sunday activities with Ikutri. God, these dark roots make, just make my hair look so oily. I think I've got hair in my eyelashes. Uh, bleh. Okay, real quick, because my food is burning. I washed my hair. This is why I didn't really bother cutting it when it was washed, because it's all like frizzy. And I don't have frizzy hair usually, but I think it's one because it's damaged. Well, not damaged, but well, processed. So technically, yes, damaged because of the dye. And also my straighteners are dead. So I can't really do anything about it <laughs> anyway. So, and at least this way I can see how bad it actually is. And I mean, it, it ain't good. I mean, <laughs> it's very choppy. And it's at that horrible length, you know, where it's like just about to be long, but it's still like kind of mid length, if you know what I mean. Because before it was like, just like maybe, well I did, I did end up cutting a lot so it may have come like just a little below the boob, which was like the beginning of long. And now it's back to being that weird length. But it was necessary. Um, I still, like this, this is the worst. Like, chop down. And I don't know what to do about that, but... I don't really wear my hair down much these days anyway, so it's not really a problem. And um, I mean, my hair looks weird anyway because of the roots and like these and yeah. If I had like the straighteners, I feel like I could style it a little more and wear it down. But I mean, at least the... The point was to get rid of the split ends, which I've done. It looks bad, but it will grow back and at one point I'll be able to afford the hairdresser. Hopefully. So, god my mirror is filthy. What even? What even? I actually just went out because my stomach is acting up again and I want to eat something to like soak up the acidity because I feel like that's what's going on so these are a lifesaver but I can only buy it in one store and it's kind of on the pricey side but it's gluten free and it's ginger so it really helps with the nausea and it's not too much sugar apparently so 
beautiful let's hope this is okay and this is more of a treat because well actually i don't know if it's good or bad but it's like organic and vegan and green tea and it's kombucha so it's fermented stuff so it should be good for my gut i don't know if they really add a lot of sugar in here i think they they do have some sugar but it is like um living food that's the word i'm looking for living food and it says like no it, it looks good you know it looks pretty good but when i taste this kombucha from the supermarket with a kombucha from like let's say the health store this is much sweeter and much it's like um carbonated and it, I don't know, the taste is very different, but I guess this one is like ginger and lemon and I've already tasted ginger kombucha from the health store and the taste is so... well, the one from the health store is very bland and neutral compared to this one, which is very like strong in flavor, which I like. I like the ginger taste. It does help with my... with my... with my stomach, so recommendation if you have something similar where you are, if you have like this is gonna help with the acidity because I, I need something to soak it up and I want like some crackers but I want also something a little bit sweet so this will help especially with ginger and this is just good for my gut and I think there's something something going on with all the meds I can feel like I don't know I only ate healthy things today and it's still acting up maybe it was a smoothie I don't know hard to tell there's something that my my stomach isn't appreciating which is weird and annoying Anyway, back to work. I just saw that Tea Springs was... I always call it Tea Springs. Tea Spring uh, offers face masks now. So I thought I'd experiment and put a few of my own. This is one design right there and the other one is here. It's a shame that you can't really reorganize things. I mean, you can put like some featured products up here, but afterwards you can't really... You know, you can't really put them in the order you want, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, for those who don't know, this is my Japaniku Teespring store. I updated it recently with this design, which actually you can see, it's better on a t-shirt in my own opinion. Right here, these are the Sun Will Rise uh, collection. There's another tote bag, I think a little bit below. Like you said, like I said, it's really hard to find things. It's not the there we go. There's another sun will rise. There are a few more sun will rise. See, everything is in a weird order. Ah, but back to subject, to the subject, to the subject at hand. I'm tired as usual. Nothing's changed here. Uh, this is one of them that I made. It's the Daisy Cheeks. I really tried to get this as like not in the fold. It was really complicated, but I really wanted to be like Daisy Cheeks exactly or like at the corner of the mouth you get like little daisies i ordered one to try in black because i mean black masks are cool and this is the design i had in my head at the beginning without the cut fold but really i tried my best i tried different sizes different like placements and this one was the best one and i put like a few different colors that i thought worked out i like the blue one too green is not my favorite color but it's kind of a pretty like green could work in the medical field i guess but anyway i ordered one a sample like this in black but i think it'll take some time to arrive and of course i had to get derby kachan out once again i'm <laughs> i'm always a fan of derby and i'll place her wherever i can and here there's a lot more colors available so with the other more um, I think this one is an extra color the gray might be an extra color I don't remember if I had gray with the other one I think that's it but yeah she's really cool I think the white one is better because the pink hair really comes out though the pink here is coral so it does also work if that's something you like I think all colors work I always check them out before so but here I think the pink uh, the pink white one is my favorite so yeah Every, anything i make from these designs is to help with my medical bills and my treatment and the food because everything is expensive at the moment but health comes first 
Time for my meds. Bills, medical bills. I don't even want to open them because I know I can't pay them. I mean, it's what day is it? 20, 28th, 29th? Yeah, I can't pay that. It's the end of the month, so. Bye.